If you've been applying to jobs and you're not getting any responses and you notice on your Google Analytics, you're getting zero visitors to your portfolio website, guess what? It's not you. It's your resume. All right. So today I'm going to show you guys a tool that I created for entry level jobs that AI, which is going to solve that problem. It's going to help you generate a resume that's 100 percent proof to get through the ATS bots. Now, there's a lot of different platforms that you can go to and generate a resume, right? And you can build some really beautiful ones. I mean, I could show you guys right now, right? There's a lot of different templates out here for different resumes and different types of resumes and different colors and layouts and columns and, you know, different ways of presenting yourself out there. And I mean, we look at a resume like this, this is a beautiful resume and this would look great if you was handing it to somebody in their hands. But what we really care about is to make sure that this ATS bots can parse through our data and actually match us to the job description. So let's go in and take a look at this. This is the process of how your applications are going through. Okay. Let's say right now it's a new developer job. Hey, full stack developer, Node.js, React developer, and as a remote position. So, you know, it's thousands of people applying to this position. Guess what? There's about a thousand applicants, right? We're going to keep it simple, simple numbers, right? Out of those a thousand applicants, only 400 of them actually get through the ATS bots. Okay. 600 of you guys, you're not even getting seen period. Okay. Your resume is not built to actually get through this bot and get to parse your data. So in a great example is here, right? This right here is a resume. looks great, beautiful. You could give it to someone, but guess what? When the ATS bots go through this, right? Most of the time, what they read is only one side of it. Sometimes they might go in and miss some of the information that you have here, which is your experience or your educations or your certifications. Like, guess what? If you're missing those things, how is it going to go in and match you to the keywords that are listed for that job description? Guess what? This whole section here is gone. All right. <laughs> so they can't match you. All right. So let's continue with this. So 400 of them actually get read completely by the ATS bots and can actually go to the next stage, which is which ones actually match the job description. So let's say, for example, you're a Java developer, but on your resume, right? You got through the ATS bots. It could read all of your data, but you have nothing that matches the actual job description and what they are requiring. Okay. So for example, you could choose a specific skill and say, give this more power than another skill. Like let's say, for example, HTML, CSS is a basic thing. Almost anybody knows it, but because I'm looking for a Node.js developer, I want to go in and say, give the skill of TypeScript, give the skill of React, give the skill of, I don't know, Node.js more power than HTML, CSS. So if that one right there is not in your resume, you could be the best developer. You're not going to the next stage. Okay. So these are the people that go in and then they get to match the job description. Okay. So now we're down to a hundred people that actually match the job description. And this is where the human comes in and sees this list of a hundred people that have gone through. Now, remember, we're looking at this. If there's a thousand applicants, if there's 5,000, 7,000 applicants, this is going to be 500, 700. They're not going over 700 people. All right. That's just the facts. But this is why it's important to go in and apply at the right time, right? And apply in different times in, in different situations, like do not go in and think like there's not a little bit of like luck into this thing because there is. All right. I'm just going to be honest with you. So at the end of the day, you want to go in and make, make sure that you are able to at least have different applications at different times. So you can go in and make it to this point where you're either the first one or maybe the last one. Like there's some different ways that you could go in and make it to this last stage. So now there's a hundred people in this list. The human is not going to go through a hundred people and it's not going to call a hundred people or 500 or 700 people. They're going to go in and basically break it down to top 50. 
right? Maybe they'll go into 50 of them and then go in and say, okay, 50 of these, we're going to go in and do phone screenings. So guess what? Now they're calling people. Now they're sending emails. Hey, are you available for this day? Hey, can you do this and that? Hey, what do you feel about this job? Some people don't answer. Some people miss their emails. There's a million things that could happen. Guess what? Out of those 50 people that they tried to reach out to, right? Now they actually got in contact and, and decided to go with 15 people. These are the people that are getting in person or a remote interview. Out of those 15 people, somebody might miss it. Somebody might not show up. Somebody might go in and, and go through the in-person interview. And this is stage one. This is when you see people, hey, I just went through an interview. That's stage one, all right? <laughs> you went through the phone screening. Now you went to the interview. Now you go to stage two. Yes, you're a qualified candidate. Now we brought it down from a thousand people, right? All the way to 15. And then we actually going in and taking serious seven people. And out of those seven people, we go in and we hire one to two candidates, all right? That's the facts. Now, how do we even get here? Guess what? We got to start from the top. If you do not have a resume that can get you through this stage, you're just stuck here. All right. You're just stuck right there at, at that 1000, right? And always getting filtered out and no one sees your portfolio. Guess what? You want to get through this thing. And this is what we did on entryleveljobs.ai. Created a resume builder for you. Not to have the most prettiest resume, right? Because I do believe that having a nice and pretty resume like this makes sense. If I'm going into an interview in person, maybe I'm going into a small business, I could still have this resume. But we have to use a different strategy when you, we are applying to Indeed, Dice.com, on LinkedIn, or any of these other platforms, right? What we care about is that they could actually read through our data and parse all of our information so they could go in and match us to the job, all right? So again, this is what we did with our resume builder on entrylevelljobs.ai. I just broke it down for you guys why this is important. Now, I'll give you a little quick backstory for anybody that's watching this. Guys, I've been doing this for the last seven years, helping people get into the tech industry. Like literally, this is what I dedicated my life to um, the last few years. And it's really on codingphase.com. Okay. Now, on codingphase.com, we teach people how to code. We give them a good curriculum. We basically focus on what's going to get them hired. And this is why I saw this problem. I kept seeing students coming in and saying, man, I'm applying to jobs, Joe, but I can't get hired. Right. Then I started looking at their resumes. Their resumes wasn't good. The text inside of it wasn't good. And the format of it wasn't good. And I'm like, okay, this is what we got to change. And the moment we started doing those changes, those same students started getting more interviews. Okay. Because guess what? I could teach you all the skills. I could go in and hold your hand through the whole process. But if you don't have that resume that goes through this box, guess what? Basically all that work that we did is irrelevant because they're just not going to see you. So I decided with entryleveljobs.ai to go in and solve this problem on this resume. Okay. So again, it's a very simple resume builder and I'll show you guys right now how simple it is. It's pretty straightforward. You put in your information, put in your portfolio website, put in your professional summary, put your experience in here. Okay. Um, your education. Okay. You have your skills. And you know what? Because I don't want to go in and fill this out and right in front of you guys, I'm going to go in and, and here we go, guys. So right here, we have an example of a web content editor resume. It has the education. It has the experience. It has all of the different uh, job details for those experiences. You have your personal information. And here you go. You have your resume. All right. Now, this is how it looks. Okay, pretty straightforward, nice and clean, straight to the point, 
easy to read and at the same time easier to read for the ATS bots to go in and go through all of your data. All right, nothing in here is going to stop you to get through those ATS bots. We have a layout and a way to actually go in and create this PDF file that is just basically proven to work. We've tested it on Indeed, we tested it on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, we tested it in a couple of places out here to see how it will work in some of these different job boards. And guess what? This is one of the resumes that just it got through. Right, we've tested the ones that are nice and pretty, pictures here, background images here, uh, background color here. Guess what? This is what works, all right? Now, of course, we are still improving on a lot of things inside of this builder. This is version one. Every single week, we're adding more things. Like we are gonna be integrating AI into this. We're also gonna be integrating a scoreboard for you guys so you can go in and see um, how much your resume is actually scoring uh, as far as like, is it following the best practices? We're also going to give you guys a free guide on all of the things that you guys have to have uh, to be able to make a great resume and for the right position. And we're also working on having a Chrome extension, right? And it's going to be for Firefox, Opera, and all the other ones, right? Where you can go in and go to a job description, look at the job, and then just click one button. It reads the the data then comes back edits your resume it to match that exact same uh, job description to give you an even bigger edge but right now the most important thing that I'm so happy that we was able to accomplish is that we have this builder for you guys so if you have a resume and you haven't got any results through it Come in, put it through this builder, and I can guarantee you, you're going to start seeing more interviews in the next coming days and more visitors to your portfolio, right? That's going to be the way how you're going to go and see if you're getting results or not with this resume, because at the end of the day, what you care about is getting through the ATS bots. You can have a nice and pretty resume so you could give to somebody in person if it's a small business, right? But when it comes to something like this, you got to go in and be strategic, guys. Let's go in and feed the data to the robots, to the bots, right? Let's let's give them what they like. They like that JSON. They like that nice and clean and clear and having all of the tags and everything in the right PDF format. Let's give them what they want because what we care about is getting a job. Like, we're not trying to do nothing more and nothing less. All right, guys? So, again, for anybody that wants to go and try this out, you know where to go. Entry level jobs that AI is very simple, guys. You have a, a payment plan, right? You could come in, pay as you go. You pay seven bucks. You wanted to get your resume built. Guess what? You pay seven bucks, right? You get to have access all the entry level jobs that's out here. You see all the positions that we are searching for you guys and, and basically adding it to the platform to make sure you succeed. Okay. That's seven bucks. Okay. And you're going to have all the extra tools that's going to come with entry level jobs jobs for free just for that seven bucks okay a uh, yearly you want to save some money guess what fifty dollars and if you're a diamond member you get it for free okay it comes with your diamond membership this is why i keep telling you guys right come in and sign up to codingphase.com we, we're constantly giving you guys stuff right but again for anybody that is already learning how to code somewhere else or already has the skills and like man they're not getting results Come try entry level jobs to AI. Trust me, you're gonna start seeing some more results with this resume builder. And you could find some really good opportunities in some of these jobs. A lot of times people think, like, well, these positions are only for beginners. No, there's sometimes that maybe you are like a one year, two years into the game, and you might consider some of these jobs that's here and say, well, shoot, I might take a eighty, ninety thousand dollar job, right? I'm you know, I'm not looking down on 80, 90. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I need a job right now, I'm shoot, I'm applying. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't care if I was a senior at XYZ.com. Hey, you want me to be a web stack developer for 80 to 110,000? Why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how it is, man. Again, if you're making money, that's what's important. Okay. So, yeah, go check out codingphase.com and entry level jobs.ai. The links is going to be in the description, guys.
And I'm just happy that we could come in and solve this problem for our students and for all of you guys that's here on YouTube. So anyways, guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy this video? Do you guys not like it? What do you think about the video? Show me some love in the comment section.